All right, guys, I'm out here in the middle of the day in early summer, and I'm gonna drag some baits. I'm gonna try something different. We're in the spawn right now, and uh, there's a lot of little fish biting. I've been wanting to try this. Shrimp, yes, shrimp. Uh, normally our bait store up the street sells shrimp. They don't have it anymore. So I was forced to go to my local grocery store. Luckily, I could get a pound of it with the shell on for about six bucks. We're gonna try it and see. We're gonna see how it works. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. I've had the downsized baits on some recent guide trips. So I decided, you know what? This is a good time to test this stuff out to see how good it works. Yes, I do have chicken on the boat. And yes, I do have some live bait. We got a backup plan. Now my strategy is, I'm only gonna use part of this because I'll be honest with you, if I don't catch fish with it, I'm gonna take it home and eat it tonight. So I'm gonna put some out here. Boom, nice little shrimps. The rest of it, I'm gonna drop it up pot with some old bay and eat if it doesn't work you know what just for giggles we got some chicken this almost looks like an asian dish a little bit of chicken a little bit of shrimp we need some rice we need some oil we can have this little hibachi going on there's just some chicken figure out which side i'm gonna put them on just to mix it up i've got two hellcat rods on here that have bigger hooks on them from some of the guide trips we're gonna split it up we're gonna put some cut bait on those two hellcats since they're rigged for it and then we're gonna split it up with the chicken and the shrimp on two different sides of the boat. I'll let you know which one in a second. Let's get, let's do this, let's fillet it. I've had really good luck with fillets lately for some reason. I didn't pop the scales on that one. Why? I'm excited to get baits in the water. Let's see, shrimp, chicken, starboard pork, starboard shrimp, starboard. Starboard side will be shrimp. Remember that, starboard side. All right, guys, got to hook up on oh, cut bait. <laughs> this was the uh, filet that is in between the two pieces of chicken first hook up. We had those little bumps back there right when I put the baits out, but we never connected on a fish. First bite, first one I've seen. Happy to catch a fish, that's an old channel cat. That's an aggressive eating channel cat right there, eating a big old bait. Hey man, we don't discriminate here on deer mill horn fishing. We'll take that all day long. We're going to get a weight and a measurement on him. We'll throw him back. There you go. First fish in the boat. Channel catfish on cut bait of all things. You think with those little bitty uh, offerings out there, you would have got one on a small piece of bait. But hey, he wanted to eat. So yeah, I'm measuring these fish, continuing to do that for the biologist. Uh, get a weight and length on them and uh, chunking them back. We'll see what else is in here. I'm drifting kind of across the flat here. I just cover water this time of the year. You can anchor up if you want to, but I think you end up having to hop holes when you do that. So I just cover water drifting. If you're on the bank, well, you're stuck on the bank. There ain't a whole lot you can do. You got to wait for fish to come to you, wait for them to feed. But if you're in a boat, I think with the spawn going on, you're better off covering some water to see where some biting fish are because it can be tough. But we got one. Uh, let's keep on dragging, see if we can stick another one through here. All right, guys, I think we got a small fish going on this outside planter board. This is on the, uh, where's it hung? Ah, it may be a fish. Let's see. That's weird. It's pulling awful heavy. Maybe a foul hooked fish because anyway, this is on the uh, port side of the boat. This would be chicken for those of y'all keeping score at home. Ever it was, man, may still be there. Small fish. Felt like it was, uh, got real heavy all of a sudden, like it was pulling through some fishing line or something. Hopefully he's not into the other planter board. Yes, I'm being a little lax with taking the planter boards off and giving them slack line, but I can do that when I'm not on a guy trip. I got real heavy, real heavy. Sometimes you'll get a fish like that that will just go super heavy and pull like crazy and ain't that big. Then again, he could be foul hooked in the tail or something, so he may be coming in backwards. Every hooked fish has been on the port side. I am gonna check bait on this side in a second. Oh, that's a decent blue. Uh, boom. Hey guys, good looking fish. Let's go back alive so we can catch them again. All right, there's number two in the boat, uh, both off the port side, one on cut bait, one on chicken. So I checked my shrimp. One of the uh, shrimp baits was not there. Checked the other one, it still had bait on it. So, you know, it, 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 it's not on fire. We've caught two fish, so there's no really way to tell whether one of them works better than the other. We're gonna keep dragging through. Everything eats shrimp though, I will say that. I do some saltwater fishing, and man, everything in the ocean loves to eat shrimp. And I'm sure it has a lot of the same amino acids in there that every other fish does. And I know it catches fish, because. Man, like I said, I grew up using shrimp because, well, we didn't know a lot about catching 
catfish back then and it was red worms or shrimp so it works it will catch fish we're gonna see how good it does for us though and see how good it does drifting maybe a thing to where it just does better when you are anchored i don't know but we're gonna play around with it i mean worst case scenario worst case scenario i've got something to eat for dinner that's probably a catfish that's probably gonna be a catfish that one's gonna be a catfish pretty sure that's what we got here hey listen they don't know the difference between perch baits and catfish baits it's actually perch is what i'm using yep channel cat double hooked oh oh it's gonna be a tough one to grab oh there we go there we go double hooks in them hey whatever we're catching some that one doesn't count on either bait it was on the small little teeny tiny bait Yeah, that's a little bitty cat on a uh, perch bait there. Uh, we'll take them any way we can get them. I may be having one on this chicken. I'm gonna check it. If it is, it is a, yep, it is there. It's a small fish. I thought I seen the rod twitch and another small one. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Coming around a point, that popped off right there at the boat. Little channel catfish about the same size. Again, hitting small pieces of chicken. I seen him right there. He's barely hooked. It's uh, there's a few fish in here again. This is typically what happens during the spawn time. Uh, you know, the big fish become elusive. Not that you can't catch them. We may find one here before it's over with, and we found some on some guide trips. But there's not going to be a ton of them. You know, and I pretty much tell anybody that books a guide trip this time of year, don't expect to catch big fish. We may find one, don't expect to catch big fish, and that's going to be pretty much true just about anywhere you go. But hey, nobody wants to sit at home this time of the year. It's way too pretty so you need to get out and fish as there's a chance we got a small fish on this inside planer board port side feels like it. he's small i'm gonna nurse him in because if he's on there he's a little bitty fish yep he's there he's there it feels like a channel cat i feel some head shake i'm gonna whoa don't shake his head i'm gonna nurse him in like i gotta win a tournament like i need a eight out uh eight ounces to win winch him in here nice and slow Check my chicken bait or my uh, shrimp baits. One of them was gone. Put it back on. I got those boards going out. He's shaking that head. Yeah, he's a little bitty feller. He's hooked good. Boom, got him. Got him. Like I said, we can't find any big fish, but man, for the middle of the spawn, I'm glad to catch a fish. Get off of there. I'm glad to catch a fish. Little pity channel. It'll pass the time. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be out here fishing one day, thinking I'm just catching some little fish, catching some of these, and then boom, big boy's gonna hit. The option is you sit at home, you don't go fishing. That one's going now, that chicken rod's going. You sit at home, you don't go fishing, saying I'm waiting on the spawn, I just wanna catch big fish. Next thing you know, you're looking on Facebook and one of your buddies got a big 50 just threw, threw up on his shoulder. We'll catch him when I can. I think I may have one on the old purple reel. Not it, nope, he's there, he's there. I actually got hit on the orange reel at about the same time. There's a chance there could be a fish on it. It's moving. There's also a chance this fish could be into there. This is the, ooh, it's feeling awful heavy. I think I may be into that line. That may be what happened. I'm gonna take my time with it. Anytime you get lines tangled up, it's a recipe for losing fish. Again, no, well, yep, I do have that rig. Again, that's uh, everything so far on the port side of the boat nice little blue cat and on chicken outside of the one five fish and out of the five four have come on chicken one piece on that small little piece of cut bait so we'll take them any way we can get them man when it's a spawn it's nice just to stick some fish all right guys i got one going on the cut bait on this side man that thing is pulling out there a good ways let me get Oh, that's a good bite. Good bite, good bite. Let's see if we can work him in. It's a decent fish. That is a decent fish. Not a giant, but what was I saying earlier about you got to be out here to catch them. You got to be out here to catch them. And this is on cut bait, by the way. This is the uh, big perch head we put out. You got to be out here to catch them. I have just made one long continuous drift this whole time. Just kind of let the boat take me where it takes me. Yeah, I'm a fisherman. I mean, I, I, I fish. 
and I'm gonna fish whether it's good, bad, whatever. It's just the way I am. I ain't gonna sit at home and complain about it. Uh, I'm gonna fish until deer season gets here, then I deer hunt. But yeah, I fish and if it's a spawn, it's a spawn. There's still fish eating somewhere. It's just not as good as it was a month ago. That's the difference. There's still fish eating. Uh, so you just might have to work a little harder to get them. And if you're looking for big fish, pull a big boy. You may have to wait a little while to get them. You're not gonna get as many. I'm okay with that. I like to fish. I like to fish. And it's why I keep a couple of these big Hellcat rods with some bigger bait in the mix, just in case I stumble across a better fish out here. This one. Not a giant, but a fish pretty much anybody would love to catch. Let's see if we can get him with the boga grip. Because oh. I can fish, guys. I think he got the old perch head. He gets to keep it, man. That's a good one. About 13 pounds. We'll take that all day long. Look at that. Yes, sir. I told you, you got to be in the game. You got to stay in the game and fish. Plain and simple. You got to be out here to catch them even when they're spawning even when it ain't that great even when it's hot even when there's boat traffic you got to be out here to catch them folks that's a good fish i'm happy to have that one yeah he ain't gonna win no tournament for you but man uh you know 12 13 pound fish especially during the spawn happy to have them i may have one hidden purple i just turned around and looked at this reel it ain't a big one he didn't fold it like that other rod but i think he's on there yeah you got to be in the game folks you got to be out here fishing Listen, there's going to be some days I'm going to get out here and I'm going to be pulling my hair out with boat traffic and everything else. But you never know when that magic's going to happen. And like, to, you know, as far as fishing goes, the numbers ain't bad right now. You're not going to get into big fish. It would be very frustrating fishing a tournament right now. That would be a, oh, he's in the drift sock. Oh, I got the drift sock. That was amateur hour right there. Let me see if I can make this happen. This one ain't worth the trouble, but... I don't like to lose. I don't like to lose. <laughs> I like to get them no matter what. If I can just keep my drift sock out of my motor, I'll be good. Little bitty fish, little bitty sucker. He little, but he counts. Guys, it may finally be happening. We may have one on shrimp. Woohoo! I actually just checked. Guys, that may be a good fish. That may be a good fish. Just for effect, I just checked the uh, closest rod just to make sure it had bait on it. About the time I cast it back out, boom, I seen this one go. We got one on shrimp finally, and it's a good fish. Let's see what we can do. Heck yeah, a little better bend on these catch the fever rods, these medium light trolling rods. A lot more flexibility in them, but that's why I like them for trolling, especially when you get in these smaller fish. This is, uh, and they're a fun match for some of these bigger fish. Oh yeah, nice one, nice one. Is that a, oh, I think it's a blue. It looked like a channel for a second because the channel is huge. I think it's a blue though. No, it's a channel cat. It's a big channel cat. That is a big channel cat. Big channel cat for this lake anyway. Come here, big boy. Ah, he's gonna pull my line loose. No. Oh. You know what? We're lifting you in. Don't get on this mean. It's a big male though. It is spawn, you can tell. I got some color going on, big old head. That's a nice fish, guys. On the scrimp. Caught him on scrimp. There we go. Five, two, five. Nice fish. Get back alive. All right, guys, if you were not keeping score at home, that's eight fish in about how long? An hour and a half of fishing. It's about two o'clock. That ain't a bad haul of fish. Again, 
not huge fish but man if you're just wanting to catch some fish and have a good time it can be done glad to finally get one on shrimp uh out of eight fish though i'll be honest to only get one on shrimp kind of surprised me i thought we would have had more and again maybe they just don't hit these things anchored up i don't know or drifting maybe they hit them anchored up so i don't know i don't know what the deal is there it's kind of disappointing uh the chicken seems to be the dominant one and that's where the fish are coming on so i'm gonna keep pulling through here we got just a little bit of wind to move the boat not moving too fast i'm just kind of letting it go where it wants to go i'm seeing a few fish here and there uh you know they'll show up for a little bit and then they're gone uh so is what it is we'll see if there's anyone's any more out here that's gonna eat yeah guys get out and fish it is the spawn it's not the best time it's a good time to complain but if you're alive and you got the opportunity go fish all right guys i think i got one here on a purple reel piece of chicken a piece of chicken i have to slow roll him in i think it's a channel catfish small fish that's all right we'll take them any way we can get them any way we can get him. Oh yeah, he's whisker hooked. I got a feeling he's barely hooked. Shunk. There he is. He threw my chicken out. Tell you what, downsizing hooks greatly helped with short strikes. We had that issue the other day. And I went to some of these small circle hooks. That's a two all from a hooker terminal tackle. If you're going to catch small fish, you got a place that's got smaller fish, you're getting short strikes, downsize your hooks. I mean, yeah, I, I'd love to catch great big old fish out here, uh, but they're not biting, and I'm having to downsize baits, and that's all that's getting hit. If you got great old big hooks, you're not going to get hooked up. So, another channy cat. All right, guys, got another one on the shrimp. Let me knock this one in the gear. I just got that chicken caught fish back out, reeled in one of my shrimp rods to see if it had been hit uh there was no chicken on it or no shrimp on it about that time i was getting ready to cast it matter of fact it's still sitting right there with bait on it uh this one got hit so one thing about shrimp is it's generally soft and you can lose some that's the uh, bad part about it Let's see and i know i know it's expensive it is expensive uh now if it would really really killed the fish i'd spend the money to get it but it's really looking like pound for pound chicken may be a cheaper option let's see what we got here good old channel good old channel shoot hey golly what swallowed that one what a mess another one you know, 16 inches get him back bang another one on shrimp uh i think we're up to nine fish if i haven't forgot any and uh but only two of them on shrimp so far so i want to play around with this some more to see if there is a better place to use it you know it, there has been more on chicken but we've had two fish on cut bait two on cut bait two on shrimp and the other five came on the chicken so obviously they're hitting that at a little higher rate so biggest fish did come on a piece of cut bait so uh it's there it's available if you got a place that sells bait shrimp might not be bad i know walmart sells it down at the coast i use it as my starter bait at the coast uh when i get down to the beach i'll go to walmart get me some frozen shrimp and then their sporting goods section and uh dude stuff works great i catch small fish on it use those for bait for bigger fish so it'll work it will catch fish and it will catch them in fresh water too so we've had a pretty good day uh in a short amount of time as far as fishing goes and uh i don't have any real complaints except i wish i had some of those shrimp and some old bay seasoning right now It'd be nice well after a day of using them i like them better in my belly <laughs>